Hello everyone. In the last video, you have seen some important points regarding the banana. Okay. Now in this video, see, we are going to give you video only on such topics from which topic the frequently question has been asked in our IBPS AFO men's examinations. Okay. Already the result of IBPS clerk has been released. Then we can expect our result also within or you can say in the next week we can expect our result okay guys do not focus or do not think regarding the postponement of the examination just you think that your exam is going to be held on 30 january and get be prepared according to that date only okay then you know there are various topics from which they have to ask the questions like seed technology and when you talk about the animal husbandry dairy science then milk topic these are the famous topics or you can highlighted topics from which the questions are asked in the examinations okay i'll give you uh, video uh, in fisheries also allied subject i have given you the videos in a few days we'll give you video regarding the apiculture also sericulture also lac culture also and uh, after that uh, 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 pig husbandry also then these are the allied subjects from which the questions are nowadays they are asking the questions but today for today we are going to focus on the seed science you know seeds when you talk about the seed then simply what is seed when you talk about the seed then you see now if you can simply in a general language if you want to understand the meaning of the seed then you can say it is a new life right, that is found inside the fruit okay means you can say new plant develops from the seed Okay, now when you talk about the uh, this uh, biology of the seeds, then you see what happens generally ovary, that ovary and ovule. When you talk about the ovary, then it develops into fruit and ovule, it develops into seed. Oh, and the protective layer, layer of the seed will be known as the seed coat or you can call it as a testa. Okay. Similarly, now it, it contains everything that is necessary for the growth and development of a new plant. And mainly there are three parts, embryo, endosperm, and seed coat. Endosperm is the source of a stored food in it. These are the structures of um, based on the cotyledon it is of monocotyledon and dicotyledons monocotyledons you can find mainly in the cereals and the grasses in pulses you'll find the dicotyledons and these are the various structures like you have seen you have seen what, what is seed coat now there is epicotyle hypocotyle okay when you talk about the e, e, embryo what is embryo that is immature saprophytes epicotyle uh, is immature shoots okay and when you talk about the radical then radical is immature roots and hypocotyle is the transition region between the root and the epicotyles okay for uh, what is cotyledon then this is the first leaf of embryo okay it also functions as the storage of the food resources okay you can take the screenshot of the various parts of the seeds now next moving to the dormancy okay this is the if this any seed which is viable, then ability of inability inability of the viable seeds to germinate under normal conditions that is known as the seed dormancy. Okay, then if if uh, there are three type of seed dormancy, one is innate or primary dormancy. Okay, another one is innate, another is enforced. Okay, and the next one is induced, induced or you can call it as a secondary dormancy innate or primary dormancy this is primary dormancy due to the genetic factors or the chemical present in the seeds okay primary dormancy is present in case of potato also okay in force this is the due to the deeper placement of the seed in the soil and the induced or secondary dormancy is due to the environmental factors like temperature or the various climatic conditions then now we'll see the various methods through which the uh, one more thing that when you find, uh, talk about the germination, then germination occurs when the seed moisture is above 40 to 60, uh, between 40 to 60 percent. And in field crops, if you talk, then maize has the highest germination percentage. And when you talk about the lowest, then it is for the cotton. Okay, 90 percent for the maize and 65 percent for the cotton. Okay, in field crops. Okay, now moving to the next. 
various methods of the breaking of the dormancy, then it is scarification, stratifications, okay, uh, not only this, but also uh, like hot water treatment, exposure to the sunlight, by, by acid treatment, hormonal treatment. Now, when you do talk about the scarifications, then the, in scarification is done where, where the dormancy is due to the hard seed coat or impayable seed coat that is known as scarifications, okay? Not known as scarification. If that type of seed or dormancy is broken by, which method? That is scarification. In this, you do pre-chilling also, pre-drying, pre-washing, pre-soaking, as in case of chili, okay? You, uh, or you can say that in case of coriander and castor, you do the puncturing of the seed coat. Eh? In magnifera indica, you, you, you apply the pressers. In cabbage cauliflower, you are doing the pre-chilling. Okay, means in scarification, simply you can say that it involves the weakening, opening, or the altering the seed coat to increase the germination. Okay, I, I, it can be by the mechanical method, chemical method, or thermal treatment. Okay, by hot water treatment, also you can do it. By acid treatment, also it can be done. Suppose in cotton, you are doing the acid treatment with the sulfuric acids in the ratio, or 10 is to 1, miss cotton. Uh, and the sulfuric ratio would be 10 is to 1. In hormonal treatment, also you are doing with the jivarlin and cytokinin. In, you know, regarding the pot, you, uh, this potato thyuria that is highly used in that. KNO3 is also used in potato, which is the strongest dormancy breaker. And the next is stratification. Stratification is the process of pre treating at low temperature, okay, to stimulate the natural conditions, okay. That is this the scarification, stratifications. They, these all don't get confused. Uh, stratifications with the vernalizations that was asked in the Bank of Maharashtra examinations. Okay. Now, again, moving to the next point, when you talk about the viability of the seeds, eh, this uh, what is the viability? This is the capacity of seed to remain capable of germination. Okay. Now, to find, uh, test the viability of the seeds, various test sizes like grown up test. Okay. This this uh, this is. In grown up test is done to find out the genetic purity. Tetrogenium test, it is also known as the biological test, as well as it is the fastest method or the quickest method to test the viabilities. Okay, in this, what seeds are done? The seeds are soaked in 0 0.5 to 2 percent solution of 2 3 triphenyl tetrazolium chloride. Okay, if the if, see if the color of the seed changes to red color. Eh? Or if the or it becomes more tense, the, the intense, then it, it means that seed is viable. Okay. Again, there is a potassium permanent method to use the qualitative uh, to find the qualitative test, or uh, it is done. Uh, it is qualitative test. Godex test. It is the uh, seed germination indicator test. Embryo exclusion test. It is also in, uh, to find the viability of seeds. Uh, embryo exclusion method. It takes nearly seven to ten days to give the results. Uh, there are more tests like electrical conduct uh, conduction method. If the conductance of it increase, it means the date number of dead tissues increasing. Okay, there are uh, indigo carmine method also in the in which the seeds are soaked in lean dye and dead seeds are. Uh, how we'll find out the dead seeds because dead seeds are strained. Okay. Now, next, very important topics regarding the seed classes. Okay, uh, see there are various types of seed, nuclear seed, breeder seed, foundation seed, registered seed, certified seed. First focus on this, as you can see that nuclear seed has no tag color as well as the no tag size. Breeder seed, golden color tag and size is 12 into 6 centimeter. Rest all have the size of 15 into 7.5 centimeter. Foundation seed, that is white color tag. Registered seed, that is purple color tag. And certified seed, that is blue color tag. Okay. Nuclear seed, you know very well. This is the first step in the uh, step in the seed production. Surprise! This is supervised by the plant breeder. Okay, in this genetic and uh, purity and the physical purity is hundred percent. In but nuclear seed is exempted from the certification by the seed certifying agencies. Uh, uh, this nuclear seed is used for the production of breeder seed. Okay. It is not meant for the general distribution. When you talk about the breeder seeds, then it is the progeny of nucleus seed or the breeder seed itself. This is the uh, produce under the supervision of breeders. Genetic and physically, when you talk about the <coughs> genetic and uh, physical purity, in, in case of this, uh, what you call the um, breeder seed, then it is also 100% pure and tag color is golden yellow. Eh? 
Next is foundation seed, which is also known as the mother seed, which tag color is white. Eh? It is the progen progeny of breeder seed. Eh? This production is the responsibility of national seed corporations. In this genetic purity is 99.5%. Mm -hmm. Physical purity is in greater than 98%. Eh? Our next is register seeds, that is pulp color tag. Eh? This is either produced from the foundation seed or register seed itself. Okay. Generally in India, it is omitted. Okay. Now, when you talk about the certified seed, blue color tag, and this is a progeny of foundation seed. Why foundation seed also? If the register seed is not there, then it will be produced from the foundation seed. It is also produced from the register seed. And this is commercially distributed for to the farmers. Genetic purity is 99% and the physical purity is 98%. Apart from this, there are two more types of seeds. One is orthodox seeds, no type. Okay, uh, or uh, recall seed uh, trend seeds or um, seeds which remain viable at low temperature and low moisture, like cereals, they are orthodox seeds, and uh, recall seed trend seeds means which do not remain viable, like at low temperature and low moisture, like mango and coconuts. Okay, now when you talk about the seed certificate agency, then uh, international seed certificate certificate agency 1924 that is switzerland then uh, see orange color means what that that's a certificate in that testing sampling as well as the testing is done in the same country then orange color if the seed lot is sample in one country and lies in other country that is green color okay and the blue color certification is given when the test result related to the submitted sample say which has been not officially sampled okay remember this line that seed registrations will be granted for the farmers for new varieties for a period of 15 years in case of annual and biennial crops and long duration perennial crops will be 18 years. 15 years and 18 years. This data, because seed multiplication ratio data is also asked in the examinations. Okay. Then when you talk about the seed rate and seed multiplication ratio, means from a single seed, how many seeds can be produced? That is seed multiplication ratio. Paddy seed rate is 40. And, and uh, when you talk about the seed multiplication ratio for paddy, 1 is 200 for the hybrid and 1 is to 80 for the varieties. Variously, you have to remember for the different crops <coughs> like sorghum, bajra, tomato, brinjal, watermelon, potato. From these sections also, Bank of Maharashtra also, they have asked the question of his answer, ground note was given. Okay. See, for wheat, it is 1 is to 20. And seed multiplication ratio will be highest for the brinjals, then coal crops, and lowest for the potato, then groundnut. But potato was not in the, in the option of the Bank of Maharashtra for examinations, so answer was groundnut. Seed treatment, you know, a fire method that first you have to give fungicide, then insecticide, then rhizobium. Simply, what is isolation distance? This is the separation of the field of a variety from that of another variety of the same crop, just to avoid the contamination. From the, this section, also, question is asking, they are asking the germinator, germination percentage as well as the isolation distance of the foundation seed or certified seed. In regarding the wheat, they have asked germination percentage, that is, wheat is a self pollinated crop, it's 85. And in foundation distance, uh, foundation seed, Isolation distance in three and certified seed also isolation distance is three. I will not read this data. You can take this screenshot. You can study. Okay. Then uh, you can in our telegram channel the uh, data regarding the seed replacement that is also given. You can also study that. Uh, and generally from this, this much sections only. If they will ask the question, they will ask the question from the seed technology. Okay. When you talk about the uh, moisture content. Right? Then uh, for seed uh, moisture for storage, then wheat barley rice is twelve percent or ten to twelve percent. Pulses eight to ten percent. While seed and spices it's six to eight percent. Okay, guys. Okay, I hope you have understood the my video. Go through the just if whichever whichever data you want you want to note down, please stop the video, take the screenshot. Right? In the next video, also we, we are going to come with a few allied subjects. Okay, thank you.